story. Israel, spot, invasion. Yeah. A spot invasion, a spot invasion, a spot invasion just invading the nation. Yes, spot invasion is a hit from creation. Another show that everybody did a weird but Welcome to the Spot Invasion. I am your host, DJ Israel. I'm here to report some sad news today, guys. We have lost a true icon, a legend, an ambassador to the reggae industry. Frankie Dancehall Paul, born Paul Blake on October 19, 1965, and he passed away on May 18 at the University Hospital. Spot Invasion TV would like to send our condolences to the family, fans, and friends of Frankie Dancehall Paul across the world. He was our Jamaican Stevie Wonder. He contributed to reggae music across the world. I myself, DJ Israel, had the opportunity and the privilege to call on Frankie Dancer Paul on stage at Blending in the Park at Everton Blender Birthday Bash in 2015. Also, I had the pleasure of walking him on stage to perform and we did a one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview with the man himself. So right now, Spot Invasion TV, we would like to do our tribute to Frankie Dancer Paul, one of reggae ambassadors that passed away so early. He was 52 years of age. We lost a legend so early, but his music lives on and we know everyone out there love Frankie Paul. So without further ado, we're going to go into the performance. Now this performance is a performance that he did in 2015. This was one of his last performance that he did. And guys, let me tell you something that you guys didn't know. Before Frankie Paul went on stage, he was feeling a lot of pain. And he said, DJ Israel, I have to please my fans. So he was a fighter. Even though he was battling his own sickness, he was a fighter and he wanted to please his fans. So Frankie Paul, we miss you. R.I.P. So let's go to his performance and check it out and we come right back.
Frankie Dancer Paul, the man that just ripped the show. So, Frankie Dancer Paul, welcome to the Spot Invasion. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, Israel. Let me commend you on your performance. Thank you. And I didn't even start yet. That was just a little warm up for me. For a legendary man doing this in the business for a long time, what is your secret? Well, the secret is um, the gift from the Almighty that keeps us strong and prior five times a day keeps me strong and to do the right thing and um, letting my voice be heard all over the world. And your voice sounds just the same as on the CDs. Don't do any drinking or anything like that, right? No, no drinking, just a little smoking sometimes, some <laughs> high grade sometimes to make the voice pure and manufactured, uh, fine tuned better. Because you do one of the biggest songs of all times. Pass. Give the people them a piece of that now. Pass the cushion peng. Pass it over. Oh, boy. Oh. Pass the cushion peng. Pass it over. <laughs> so now you hear that. So the man voice nice. So now you live in Gambia, Africa. And a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to go to Africa. Can you tell me the experience from a man that lived there? 
Well, I would say to the people that don't want to go to Africa, uh, or Gambia, anywhere in Africa, Pusal, uh, Nopil, uh, um, Denga, Demal. Wow. But Gambia is Nena, Nehena. Yeah? And the whole of Africa is Nena. It's just the peace, love, and happiness that makes us strong and happy. Yeah? And they should look into it and see that parts of Africa are not like what they're thinking. Africa is a very wonderful place. And I would say, again, to the people who don't want to believe about Africa, that um, Santinayal, wow, yeah. and um, Al Samade, we are one. Al Samade, Santinayal, pray to God every day. Yeah? And He'll show you the way and show you that Africa is a peaceful, nice place. Wonderful place to live, especially where I live in Gambia, mm. west side of Africa, the smiling coast. So, see? from a man that lives in Africa. So all my people, black people, all the people in general, go by in Africa because they're from the legendary Frankie Paul. And you know, I heard that you have an album that you're working on. Yes, I just finished the album. It's called Envy Arena, mm -hmm. which is now going to be released um, next year with some smashing hits. And how many songs? Uh, 40, 40 songs, wow. two CDs. Wow, classical songs. And what can we expect? Well, I for myself expect that this album will go platinum and gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for the people who are going to venture into it, they are going to enjoy themselves. Because this is a part of Frankie Paul that you've never heard before. Yes? 48. 40 strong hits. And do you have anyone that you're doing any collaboration on the tracks with? Yes, I have... Um, couple of artists from um, Gambia mm -hmm. and Senegal yes. and also a couple from uh, Jamaica Wow! which is going to be a wonderful album I promise you yeah I want you to trust me on it it's a wonderful album I played all the instruments mm -hmm. all the songs it was produced by Frankie Paul and it's produced by my label Coffee Walk International Nice. So make sure you guys look out for that. And I just want to say it was a pleasure to talk to you. And are you on like social network like Facebook and Instagram like that? Uh, well, <laughs> sometimes people get things and put it up there. Because mm -hmm. I don't, re I'm not in, really into that mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram thing and, and social media. But my thing gets out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the help of God, I know there are people that... Um, are out there who feel the vibes and say, let me put it up. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be the first one to put up this Frankie Paul thing on, on social media. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I thank the people who do such a wonderful thing, not the bad things that they put up all the time, that I am sick and it's my last time to do dub play and all that. Not those things. Negativity. Uh, negativity. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not into that. That's why I don't really use them things, because those thing, things brings off a lot of bad vibes on, on people, yeah? Put negativity on, on the web and then people follow up and say, yes, this happened. Yes. And then they add something to it. And then the other person add and it keeps on adding more and more. Mm -hmm. I just like when they put the real authentic thing, the real yeah. good thing, mm -hmm. yeah? That makes me feel happy and that makes the Almighty feel happy and put the joy in me so I could be strong. Because really and truly right now, I am really not 100% right now. I'm just mm -hmm. coming out of the hospital in Jamaica and still not totally fit, but my voice is there. Yes, very golden. And, and my music is there. Yes. Yeah, but the um, earthly body is not really there properly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am asking for a lot of prayer from a whole bunch of people who believe in God and uh, who believe in life, love, reality, peace, and happiness. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of people in Gambia, almost the whole country, are praying for me. Mm -hmm. Senegal, Ghana, uh, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, uh, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea Guinea-Conakry, Mali, uh, Mauritania. All those people are praying for me right now, including the British people and all the people that I, lo I love in America and they love me 
in um, Jamaica, the people who really remember Frankie Paul, mm -hmm. they're all praying for me. Well, Spot Invasion TV and the fans of Spot Invasion love Frankie Dancer Paul and will be praying for you. And it was a pleasure and an honor to interview a legend like yourself. And I just want you to big up Spot Invasion and take us out. Spot Invasion, big enough, DJ Israel on the box. Keep watching and keep listening to friendly sounds from Spot Invasion where Frankie Dance Old Paul, the old Gaga. Spot Invasion, going out. Out, up, up there. Give it up for the legendary Frankie Dance of Paul. Did you enjoy the performance? Oh my God, I did. Did you guys come to the end of the tribute to Frankie Dance of Paul? I know you guys had a blast watching his performance at the one on one exclusive interview. Remember, his music lives on. We love Frankie Dance of Paul across the world. I know a lot of people, especially in Africa, Gambia to be exact, they, as what he said, they love him over there and they were praying for him. Everyone in Jamaica worldwide, we miss him. He did a lot for reggae music and he was our Jamaica Stevie Wonder. I am happy that I had the pleasure to interview and also to meet a great legendary artist such as Frankie Dance of Paul. And guys, Remember, go over to our website, www.spotinvasiontv.com, watch all our videos, check out all the photos, read the blogs, everything Spot Invasion TV. Big up to everyone out there that always stay tuned every week. You know we love you know, and we're not going to stop saying we love you know. Listen up to all my Spot Invasion TV fans and viewers across the world. Do you want to go to the Palm Beach 14th Annual Jerk Festival? I know you do. The Palm Beach Jerk Festival will be held on May 29th at the South Florida Fairgrounds. That's in West Palm Beach, Florida. With performances by Agent Sasko, Assassin, Singy Singy, and you already know, that's Taurus Riley, Wayne Wonder, and I just got a call from Half Pine, and Half Pine said, Israel, I will be there at the Jerk Festival to level the vibes. So, you already know, also, Jamaica and Andy Ike, the people's child. So, you know, you have to be there. So, listen up, what you need to do. What you need to do, I will be giving away tickets all week leading up to the Jerk Festival. So, the question is, when did the first annual Palm Beach Jerk Festival started? What year and the month and the date? So, if you could tell me, what year, the month, and the date that the Palm Beach Jerk Festival started, then you will get a ticket to go see Assassin, Half Pint, Win Wonder, and Singy Singy Taurus Riley. What you need to do is to go over to our YouTube channel, Spot Invasion TV YouTube channel, and if you know that answer, leave your answer in the comment bar. The first person to leave the correct answer under the comment section on our YouTube channel will win the ticket to go to the 14th annual Palm Beach Jerk Festival. So you know what to do. The 14th annual Jerk Festival is brought to you by DME and Full of Vibes and 411 Pain. So make sure you go and get your ticket and stay tuned to Spot Invasion TV throughout the week leading up to the Jerk Fest because we'll be giving away a lot of tickets. Until next week, I am your host DJ Israel Grams. Big up yourself. A we say invade everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's how we say. Make sure you always stay tuned because you never know who may invade. You never know where we may be. Remember, don't take and drive. Don't drink and drive. We're all. Building the nation. Yes, but invasion is a it from creation. Another show that everybody did a weird